Well, weekly we seem to read uh, more and more about improvements coming up in the medical field, and some of those include uh, eye care. Joining us today, Dr. John Hovanesian from Harvard Eye Associates. And um, you were telling me before the program about something you've got uh, coming online soon, not available locally at the moment, but this is going to be, it is a real breakthrough in cataract surgery, um, something that has gotten simpler and simpler and lower risk over the years, but this is something really brand new. It's very true. You know, lasers are one of the most exciting things in medicine, and we have been asked for years and years whether cataract surgery, which is the most common procedure we perform, is done with a laser. And until recently, the answer has been no. Now we have lasers that have been designed to complete most of the important and uh, steps of cataract surgery that require precision. And so they're going to deliver a lot more precision to those steps and theoretically to the outcome of surgery. So the idea of these lasers is to do the steps that uh, require cutting of tissues uh, so that they're no longer done by hand instruments with a microscope, but done by the, with the precision of a laser. And we have an animation to show you this as well, if okay. we can I think put that we can on. Go ahead and roll that, and you'll talk over it. The, um, the, the idea is that uh, when we do cataract surgery, that we have uh, the ability with a laser to make openings in the front window of the eye. And this will accomplish the first step of correcting astigmatism. Currently, this is done with a diamond blade, a blade made of a diamond, but the precision will be that much greater if it's done with a laser. And as you can see, this is the, a very precision step because you've got very thin tissues in the cornea that we're treating. That's one step that's important when we correct astigmatism in cataract okay. surgery. So normally, you would do that before you do the lens replacement? That is done at the, usually at the beginning of surgery. Okay. One of the next steps is to make the main incisions that give us access to the inside of the eye, and this too can be done with a laser. And uh, the idea here is oh, that there if, we we are. Can, if we can gain access to the inside of the eye in a more precise way, we can then have a, a, a wound that will close itself in a more predictable way and with the greater surety that it will stay sealed at the end of surgery. And uh, we have a high likelihood of success with this now using our current technology where we use uh, various incisions with blades, but still they are, uh, it is a blade uh, type of surgery that it's done. Um, other steps of cataract surgery then involve removing the lens of the eye. That's what we're accomplishing with cataract surgery. And we can actually do that with a laser. We make an opening in the front window of the capsule. That's done here with a laser. And that opening will be much more precise than a surgeon can make when doing that step by hand. The surgeon just literally removes the cap. What the laser also does that you can see in that step is it will soften or it will fragment the lens of the eye. Currently, we do that in surgery by uh, using um, ultrasound. If you've heard the term right. phacoemulsification, sure, yeah. um, that, is, that is ultrasound energy. Now this will be done at least partially with a laser. And so what the laser will do is, is fragment the, uh, the lens material into many small pieces. And that softens it, that allows us to remove it with less energy delivered to the eye. And of course in surgery, when there's less energy, there's less uh, trauma to tissues, there's better healing there. In this case, right. we hope will be better vision. You can see from the video that we still use hand instruments, even with laser cataract surgery, to remove tissues, but that the important steps that it require precision are now done with a laser. Right, but then the actual installation of the new lens, and we've talked in the past about the wide range now of focusable lenses available as well as a fixed lens, um, is installed still by the doctor, and you put basically everything, put everything back together uh, by the doctor. That's a good way and, to say it. And you watch the follow-up and you monitor for infection uh, with medication. And that's right. you're still just doing them one at a time. The exciting, that's, that's very, very true. Uh, the, uh, the exciting thing is that with the new precision that this will allow us, it'll open the way for a whole host of new types of lens implants that can do even more than the wonderful implants we have now. And so we're very excited about this as being a, a step toward the future in medicine.